What's up travelers? It's Liz from Needs to Travel and today we're leaving Greenwich right now in outside of London and we are gonna go rent a car and drive around Kent. So come along. We started our day by leaving Greenwich where we had been staying and made our way towards London City Airport to pick up the rental car that we had reserved. We used our Oyster cars to jump onto the DLR and it was super easy to ride to the airport with only one transfer. We chose to do our two month long rental at London City since it's simple to get there from central London and put us close to the highway that we needed to drive to Kent. We just picked up the car at London City Airport and we got upgraded, which we're not sure if we're going to regret. Um, it's a little bit bigger than we were anticipated. Yeah, the car is bigger, but it's nice. not too big, I don't think. Yeah, um, it's like a small SUV. But it is an automatic, which is super important for us because we don't know how to drive manual. And we are about to hit the road to do our Kent road trip. And we have it plugged in to the car to direct us. So we're hoping this works now that we figured out our Wi-Fi connection. So this is gonna be like a, we're gonna take it slow sort of day and figure out the car, figure out our Wi-Fi and see some sights. So come along with us. Travelers, we are at our first stop in Kent. It's at Ainsford Castle in the little town of Ainsford. It's so cute, but I'm digging these castle ruins. They're from the Middle Ages and it's pretty well labeled like, you know, there's the kitchen all the way over in that corner. <laughs> um, and it's like the entrance, the great hall was over there. Then there's some great history plaques around, but I am really liking just seeing the flowers and the plants kind of growing out of the old ruins and seeing little things like this, um, trying to guess what it is um, or figure out a way towards where one of the history plaques might explain it. So we're all by ourselves here, so that's why we don't have our masks on. If somebody came, we would put our masks on immediately. But we are kind of out in the open sky with all these cool ruins to explore here on a Monday when I guess not as many people are gonna be touring around. So yeah, this is really cool. Just wanted to show you all before we head out to the next stop. Next, we headed across the way to the Castle Hotel, appropriately named given its proximity to the ruined castle. The food at the Castle Hotel was delightful and very well plated. We ordered the Korean pulled pork buns and a more traditional English meat pie, both of which were very tasty. Sticky. And toffee-ish. Mm. Use your words. How do you feel? Complete. <laughs> it's very good. What's it's, like the wow. texture like? Yeah, sure. Sticky. I don't know. Toffee pudding? Pudding-y? But it's like a bread toffee flavor. It's kind of like a bread pudding. Yeah. With a little bit more consistency. Ooh, it looks delicious. So I'm going to have a bite now. That was our first sneaky toffee pudding ever. I think it won't be our last. Probably won't be our last. <laughs> For the county of Kent is the Garden of England, and the reason why we wanted to visit on our UK trip was to see its famously charming small towns and villages. 
So after we finished our meal, we decided what better way to do that than stroll along Einsford's winding streets. Eventually, our walk took us to Einsford's picturesque bridge, where we witnessed a most unfortunately stuck coach bus getting towed out of the River Darent. From the riverbank, we stopped to enjoy the view for a while, which let Derek snap tons of photos of the bridge, river, and beautiful old St. Martin of Tours Church. Despite only being a short drive from metropolitan London, we soon realized that many of the towns in Kent felt like an entire world away. I mean, right? <laughs> So idyllic. Afterwards, we strolled back down the main street in town towards where we had parked our car. The day was getting on and we needed to mosey onwards towards the cathedral city of Rochester. And our car's still there, good. Kent is the home of many interesting sites to visit for the historically inclined. Among these places of interest is the town of Rochester, home to both Rochester Cathedral and Rochester Castle. The town of Rochester's history dates all the way back to 43 AD when the Roman invaders made this the site of one of their most important settlements in Britain. Rochester Cathedral is the site of the second oldest diocese in England, having been the seat of the Bishop of Rochester since 604 AD, which from an American perspective is a crazy long time. That said, the cathedral we know today is a much more recent Norman construct. The neighboring castle is a Norman keep built in the 12th century by the Archbishop of Canterbury at the behest of Henry I. Located along the London Road and at the highly strategic crossing of the River Medway, this castle was an active military installment until the 16th century. While the castle is a ruin today, the tower keep is still considered one of the finest preserved examples of its kind in either England or France. It was undergoing preservation work at the time of our visit, so it was off limits, but it was still a joy to walk around the grounds and take in the views of the River Medway from its walls. Since we were in Rochester during the autumn, we were lucky to be able to experience the fall foliage scattered around the park. Leaving Rochester Castle, we spent some time exploring the high street and seeing a bit of what Rochester has to offer. If we didn't need to get to Dover for the evening, we would have liked to have stayed and spent more time exploring. That said, we had places to be, so we had to say goodbye to Rochester and made our way towards Dover. But now without first stopping in one more of Kent's exquisite villages, Aylesford.
Okay, travelers, so we drove around this town, which is Aylesford in Kent, for a really long time trying to find parking, and there's like none to be had. So we can only be here for like five minutes. Um, but look at this awesome view. So we're in Aylesford, Kent, and this bridge was built that we're standing on in 1997, and we're looking at a pretty old one, I believe. <laughs> Okay, so Aylesford, awesome. Lack of parking, not as awesome, but that was one heck of a bridge. Loved it, loved every moment, so not too bad. Do you think the train is coming? Thirty minutes later. Do you think the train's coming? We have been here for three minutes already, waiting for it to come. Still no train. Here we go. Here comes Ben. You almost missed it. That's all? That's it. It's such a small train. It's not a freight train at least. Hey guys, so we have made it to Dover and Dover's kind of cool. I don't know, it's kind of neat. It was dark when we got here, so didn't really see a whole lot yet, but we are headed. Still dark. And it's still dark. So we've checked in our place. It is called the Church Hill Guest House and it's quite nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. We have um, the Clementine Room that we, we kind of upgraded to a king size bed. Big four poster bed, yeah. very cool. Um, it has like a writing desk and an ensuite bathroom. Um, and it's it quite large. Very yeah. old school and opulent, which we weren't necessarily expecting with Dover. So yeah. it's kind of a very fun, cool. charming spot. So uh, we'll give a little tour of that later so you guys can see what we're talking about. But uh, in the meantime, we were going to get food down by the water. The place called Colin's Yard. So let's go see how it is. Check in later. Bye. Okay, so we are going through the underpass that heads to the seafront here in Dover, and that's the one part that the guy was like, yeah, that might feel a little weird, walking at night, but... Yeah, maybe you should put the GoPro away. But it's super well lit, so... <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Okay, so we just ate at Cullen's Yard here on the water. And it was, it was okay. It was like burgers and stuff. It was not bad. Um, I'm sure it would have been much nicer if we could actually see the water. Uh, but it was pretty dark out and... We also didn't order like the top stuff. We got, I got a chicken burger and he got just a regular burger. But they have mussels, they have... They had salmon. stuff that looked good. It was, like fish salmon, and mussels, fish and chips, um, sandwiches. They have something called a docker, but they only serve those till six, which I'm assuming is like kind of like a local sandwich. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us for our first full day exploring Kent. We're now in Dover and we're heading back to our hotel. Kent been, is beautiful. It is. It is. Um, but it's been a long day. Um, a lot of driving on the other side of the road for me. And excited to get a good night's sleep before we go out and explore again tomorrow. I think uh, we were going to hike the White Cliffs of Dover tomorrow, maybe explore the castle before heading back to Portsmouth. But uh, we're glad that you guys tuned in. Yeah. If you liked this video, press the thumbs up down below and definitely subscribe by pressing that red subscribe button below too if you want to see the next video. All, All right. right, thanks everybody for watching. All right. Cheers. Happy travels. Bye. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. 
Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel, and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.